Sure. I used to play with this horn a lot when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. We're giving my old toys to the community center. Oh. Caillou was disappointed. He still wanted to play the horn. Caillou! Mom says you can keep it if you like. Thanks! Bye-bye. Caillou loved making loud, funny music with the horn. Look at what Sarah gave me! <laughs> Caillou, could I see it, please? It's a nice horn, but this is lunchtime. You can play with it later. <laughs> Besides, it would be hard to eat and play at the same time. Caillou couldn't wait to play again. <coughs> now is not the time for this. I'll put it here while you finish eating. I'm finished! Caillou! <laughs> gotcha! You're staying with me. Whee! I can make music too. Birdie! Caillou, I'm going to the store with Rosie. Do you want to come too? Can I bring the horn? Hmm, I'm afraid it wouldn't be the right place for it. No. All right then. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Have fun. Caillou felt it was unfair. It never seemed to be the right time or the right place to play the horn. The dog doesn't seem to like that sound very much. You know what? I know the perfect place where we can go. And I can bring the horn? You sure can. Hmm. I wonder where Caillou can be. Caillou? Whoa! <laughs> Hold it, Caillou. Why don't you hand me the horn? I'll give it back to you when you're on top. Sarah! I don't think she heard you. Just then, Caillou had a great idea. Mom, wait! It's Caillou with my horn. This time, Caillou had played the horn in the right place at the perfect time. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? <laughs> the Mighty Oak. wondered where the sound came from. It sounded like a giant bee. Daddy, look! Mr. Hinkle is cutting down that old tree. Want to give him a hand? Yes. Wow! Why is that man cutting down your tree, Mr. Hinkle? The tree is too sick. It had to be cut down. Trees can get sick. Sure. See how easily this breaks? Uh-huh. Mr. Hinkle's tree has become weak. I didn't want the tree to fall down by itself. Someone could get hurt. Oh. Maybe we should have the man look at our tree, huh, Caillou? Okay. The tree is healthy enough. I just need to cut off this one branch. Caillou was afraid the tree he liked to swing from was going to be cut down. Is our tree sick, Daddy? I don't know, Caillou. Cutting off a dead branch from a healthy tree doesn't hurt it. It's just like when you get your toenails cut. Toenails? <laughs> don't worry. This tree is very healthy. It's fine. Yay! My swing tree is never going to be sick. Right, Daddy? 
I hope not. We'll have to take very good care of it, won't we? Uh-huh. Hmm. How about we plant a new tree to keep it company? Okay. Caillou thought that planting a new tree was a good idea. Are you going to plant a new tree too, Mr. Hinkle? You know what? That's a good idea, Caillou. Hello? And who are you? I'm Caillou. We want a new tree. Mr. Hinkle wants one too. Well, you've come to the right place, Caillou. Caillou saw lots of flowers, but he didn't see any trees. Where are the trees? Right over there. Those aren't trees. Those are plants. Actually, they're baby trees, but someday they'll grow into big trees. Hmm. The baby tree intrigued Caillou. It's soft. Just like Rosie's blanket. Rosie's my baby sister. Well, this little tree is going to grow just like your Rosie, then. Is this what it's going to look like when it grows up? Yes. Does this tree look familiar? Maybe you've seen one in your house before? It's a Christmas tree! I want this one, Daddy, so we can have a Christmas tree all the time! <laughs> well, that means we've got to decorate it. And you'll have to buy gifts for everyone all the time. No, I won't. These two trees are different from each other. Touch them and see if you can tell what the difference is. Caillou could feel the difference. This one is prickly, and this one has smooth leaves like our tree. Daddy, can we get this one? Okay. And I'd like this one, please. And since all of this was your idea, Caillou, you can come and visit my Christmas tree whenever you want. You keep this. That way you can see how well your tree is growing. What's that, Daddy? That's food for the tree. It looks funny. Are you going to feed the tree dinner and breakfast, too? <laughs> nope. After this, all it needs is rain and sunshine. <laughs> My turn, Daddy. Okay. Caillou was surprised at how many things had to be done to plant a new tree. There, we're all done. You're a good tree planter, Caillou. Caillou, Caillou! Hi, Rosie. Look at the new baby Ooh. tree. It looks like we're gonna get a storm. Let's get inside. Dinner's ready. Hey, Caillou! Hold on, Caillou. I'll come with you. Oh, no! My tree's crooked. All it needs is something to lean on to protect it from the wind. I'll get a stake. Caillou was worried about his tree, and then he got an idea. wanted to find a toy he could leave with the baby tree, so it didn't get lonely during the night. Even though Caillou loved his red toy car, he decided that his baby tree could share it. I'm going to cover the tree with my blanket so it doesn't get cold. And it can play with my car if it gets lonely. How long will it take for the baby tree to be as big as this one, Daddy? By the time you're grown up, the tree will have grown up too. We'd better get inside. 
Good night. Sleep tight. Good night. Get well, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou love playing in the living room in the morning because right about this time... Oh, it's the mailman! Good morning! Well, good morning to you too, Caillou. See you tomorrow. Bye, Mr. Mailman. Mommy, look what the mailman brought. Is there anything for me? Not today. Oh, but Mr. Hinkle's hardware catalog got mixed up with our mail by mistake. Want to take it over to him? You mean like a mailman? Can I dress like one too? Yes, of course. Well, hello, Mr. Mailman. You look just like my young friend who lives next door. It's me, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou, I'm delivering this catalog just like the mailman. Thank you. Oh, look, I got the same hardware catalog twice. Would you like one? I know how much you like to cut out the pictures. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Mommy, look! Mommy, Mr. Hinkle was still wearing his pajamas. Do grown-ups take naps in the day, too? He could be sick, honey. Remember when Daddy had the flu and we made him a card and some chicken soup? Mommy, could we make chicken soup and a card for Mr. Hinkle? Sure. I bet it'll make him feel a lot better. Look, Mommy. I'm all done. It's beautiful, Caillou. Mommy, can I get some flowers for Mr. Hinkle? Great idea. You could make a nice vase with this. Look, Mommy! It's beautiful, Caillou. All we need now are some flowers from our garden. And a red one, Mommy! Get a red one! Mr. Hinkle is going to be so happy when he gets your card and flowers. For you. All this just for me? Read the card! There's a beautiful bluebird, and underneath it says Mr. Hinkle. That's me. Thank you. This is the best get well card I've ever seen. I'm feeling better already, Caillou. And you know, it's perfect you put that bluebird on the card. Why? I just finished putting this birdhouse together. Want to come back tomorrow when I'm all better and help me paint it? Okay, Mr. Hinkle. Goodbye. I can't wait to help Mr. Hinkle paint his birdhouse. What? You don't want to be a mailman anymore? <laughs> the Big Boat. Caillou was very excited because today they were going on a sailboat. I have a boat, too. May I borrow your boat? I want to show you something. See? The reason we call it a sailboat is because it has sails. When the wind blows in the sails, it pushes the boat on the water. Me too. <gasps> it's time to go to the marina now. That's Yay! where they keep the boats. You'll need to wear your sneakers. They're the best shoes to wear on a boat. Ready to feel the wind blowing in the sails? <laughs> that tickles. Can I bring it, Daddy? You sure can. When Caillou got to the marina, there were lots of boats, but none of them seemed to have sails. Bertie! Where's the sailboat? Hmm, I'll give you a clue. Our friend Helen's sailboat is brown and white. I can find it. 
Come up here, sailor. You'll have a better view. Oh, is he too? Do you see it? Welcome aboard, everyone. I'm glad you could come. The boat rocked a little, and Caillou felt a little unsteady. Mommy, the floor is moving. It's okay, Caillou. It takes a little time to get used to it. Safety first. I have something special for you. We need to wear these life jackets while we're on the boat. I have sneakers, too. Look at that. You're on your way to becoming a true sailor. You know, Helen has a whole house just like ours, right here inside her sailboat. Where is it? <laughs> I'll show you. Birdie! We'll stay out a bit. Rosie likes the seagulls. Wow! How did you do that? Oh, there are lots of surprises like this on my boat. I have a kitchen in here, too. Do you think you can find it? Is this the kitchen? <laughs> no, Daddy. This is a bathroom. There you go, Caillou. It's a bed. I can't find the kitchen. I spy what looks like an oven door. Uh-huh. This is my galley. That's what we call a kitchen on a boat. Would you like some grapes? Yes, please. Maybe the others would like some, too. Caillou! Caillou saw something way up on the mast that looked familiar. Mm. Mm. Whee! Look, Daddy! Helen has a pinwheel, too! Just like mine! And just like yours, mine tells me when the wind is blowing. Looks like it's time to go sailing! When we're out of the marina, we could chuck the motor off, and the sails will do the work. Almost done. And there. Phew. Let's find the wind, shall we? Here we go! Caillou was excited. Helen had turned the boat, so the wind was moving them fast now. Oh, oh it's all right, Rosie. Here, Rosie. You can have this. They have a tiller. See the stick the man is holding in the back? It steers just like my wheel. Caillou, would you like to help me steer? Yes! You're doing a fine job, Caillou. I think you can be captain for a while. Caillou was very proud to help steer the sailboat. He was having a lot of fun that the visit was coming to an end. Thanks, Helen. We had a wonderful time. It was fun sailing with you. Come back soon. Here, Caillou, don't forget this. Thank you! Bye-bye! Bye! Caillou -bye. Bye. 
you couldn't stop thinking about the wind blowing the sails. And that evening, he decided to go sailing again. <gasps> Almost done. Here you go, Rosie. See, Rosie? You have to be the wind. 